Students at the University of Texas, Longhorn Nation, friends of the 40 acres, and even some of you haters out there, welcome to this week's season in Thanksgiving night on campus at the historical Gregory Gymnasium edition of the Fireside Chat. Joined here by our first player, guest of many, Brock Cunningham, a sixth year redshirt sophomore. Brock, we're uh, really glad to have you on the Fireside Chat. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Let's get right to it, man. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. It was great. Had a little team dinner. Got to uh, have some tasty food with the players. What's your favorite tasty food when it comes to the Thanksgiving holiday? Yams. The marshmallows get me. Yams. I'm a big cranberry guy. Fruity. Yeah. That makes sense. I like to get the turkey with the dressing, brown gravy, one bite, uh -huh. cranberry on top of it. We are proud to have a game here on Monday. That's why we're having this fireside tonight to communicate directly with our students. A game here in Gregory. Brock, do you know when the first game ever played at Gregory was? 1914. Good guess. 1930. The Longhorns won that day in 1930. Do you know when the last time a basketball game was played in Gregory? Real game. 1972. 1977. Pretty oh. close. Brock, if you do your math there, that means that the Gregory Gym was the home of Longhorn basketball for 47 years. And if you do your other math, there's not been a game here in 45 years. It's a lot of math. But Monday we start and we get the team back on the court here at Gregory. Here's how it's all gonna go down, Brock. We're playing here at Gregory Gym this Monday, November 29th. Game's at 7.30. This will also be the day that we have the party at the tower for the students. Students, promise kept. True tellers, we keep our word. Right where Brock is pointing now, will be the party at the tower on Monday. Here's how it works, first of all. You gotta have the big ticket and bring your Texas student ID to get a wristband that will get you into the Gregory game. The game's at 7.30, but you can get your wristband beginning at three o'clock in the afternoon. 3 p.m., come over here to Gregory. You'll see the line, you'll see the traffic. I've heard a few of you might camp out the night before here on the beautiful concrete of Gregory. Brock, are you, you ever camped out here at Gregory? I have, I've slept out here many times. Have you ever camped out other places? Oh yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite place you've ever camped out? Desert in Utah. Yeah, me it would be Marfa, Texas. You ever been there? Yeah. Check that out. All my friends in Marfa. Coach Mack, what's up? Romero, what's up, man? Uh, okay, back to, back to the deal here. Three o'clock, they start with the wristbands here for Monday's game. Students, come over here and get it. Big ticket, bring your student ID. Uh, once you get the wristband, you'll be able to get into the game, no problem. The party at the tower, Brock, is gonna start at 4.30. The party is going to be from 4.30 to 6. Can we call it a darty? Uh, educate me there, what's a darty? Day party. Day party. Yes, students, we're gonna have a darty. D-A-R-T-Y. Yep, darty. darty. Put the D in the darty. Capital D. Little D on top, little Y at the end. Darty, 4.30 to 6, Monday, party at the tower. Brock, we're gonna have food trucks. A lot of food trucks here. One of the coolest things about Austin is the food trucks. Side note, what is your favorite food truck in Austin? Quantos Tacos, East 12th Street. Quantos Tacos. I have many. Uh, I hesitate in naming one, but what the hell? It's our show, right, Brock? Yeah. I think it's, uh, was it One Taco? One Taco over there, uh, West 7th, 6th Street. One Taco. I like the carne asada, extra cheese. Don't apologize to anybody for that. We're gonna have beverages at the party. We're gonna have food. We're gonna have giveaways. Uh, speaking back, so once you get to the party, I, I'm gonna be at the party. Brock, I'm gonna bring you to the party. Yes! You get to go to the darty. Some of our GAs, some of our players will be over there. Uh, I think we're gonna have the Longhorn Band. We're gonna have the squad and all that, cheerleaders, pomps. It's gonna be a real party. Um, 4.30 to 6. At 6 o'clock, we're gonna transfer from the darty to the game. We're gonna walk together, myself included. Get everybody over here, got your wristband by them. Get back in line, get your wristband. We're gonna come in here. First 2,000 students at the game, first 2,000, are gonna get retro t-shirts. Brock, if I went through your Chester drawers, as Merle Haggard used to say, what's your favorite t-shirt? I've got a sweet crop top that I've had since middle school. It's pretty sweet. What's on it? Just Texas, but it's only about yay big. 
crop top. Yep. That's a good look. Think there'll be anybody at the darty with a crop top? I hope so. It's barely a darty if that's not the case. Yeah. Texas students, 436, party at the tower. We come over here. You've already got your wristband. First 2,000 students, retro t-shirts. We got Stubbs barbecue. There's it's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. What's your favorite dish when you frequent Stubbs? The sausage. I like the moist brisket, and I don't mind the sausage. I like Stubbs. Those guys have been great, not only for Texas basketball, Texas athletics, the University of Texas, also just Central Texas, and Austin in general. Restored place, their Stubbs. We're glad to partner with them for this Darty, among many other great businesses in Austin helping with the Darty. Back to the game here. Students coming to game. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be retro. Um, obviously, this is a special place, the home court of uh, number one ranked Texas volleyball. You know, Brock, I know you're a big fan of the volleyball team. Huge fan. Yeah. Just reading on them. They're studs. Unbelievable. What, what, thinks, what, what do you think makes that team? What's their special sauce, man? Because they're dominant. That's a great question. Just get, you got good athletes, man. That's, a, that's the recipe right there. Good athletes, good people, good vibes. Yeah, it seems like they got a nice culture. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we're working hard on that with us. Party at the Tower, 436 on Monday. We transition over here to Gregory to play the first game in over 45 years here at Gregory. Quality opponent, Sam Houston State. Uh, Jason Hooten's one of the most respected guys in our game. Uh, fun fact here, Texas students, the assistant coach here for Sam Houston will be uh, Chris Mudge. And Mudge is a University of Texas graduate. Worked in the program or the Coach Barnes time. Yep. Mudge is somebody we have a lot of respect for too. So quality opponent here, first game in 45 years at Gregory. Back to you, Brock. Uh, Gregory Jim, favorite memory growing up or maybe in your seven years at Texas so far here at Gregory? You know, seven years, two more to go. Favorite one, have to be uh, watching Claire Hahn just dominate. A couple years ago before your time here, you know, she was just absolute animal. Animal. Do you, do you think she ever uh, went to a darty? She's been to a few darties. Yeah, special. Uh, our team's doing well, Brock. I think the team's starting to come together. Um, you know, this week, if you had to like just maybe call out one of your teammates here, who do you think's playing well right now for us? Timmy Allen, Agent Zero. God, he looks good out there doing it too. Good player, great person. Fuck, you might have a, uh, a future here in this. Uh, I like your command of the voice. You're doing a good job here, man. Timmy, Timmy's playing well. Who's your GA of the week? GA of the week? Ty Larson. He's got that, you know, kind of fatherly figure that everyone needs in their life. Hey, he's a little Perry. Yeah, he's definitely got he's definitely got that vibe to him. Yeah. How old is Ty? He ties between 22 and 37. Hey, in closing, Texas students, I'm talking right at you. Hopefully the volume here on this uh, high tech fireside chat here. Thanksgiving night. Brock, we're here on Thanksgiving night. Hopefully the volume is good. I want to thank you for your attendance so far this season. We've had some record-breaking crowds with our student section in the lower bowl. Appreciate everybody on campus and in the in the athletic department helping us with that. Appreciate you guys promoting, Brock. I know you guys are promoting just like we are. We're working hard. But I like these uh, I like these students and how they're showing up the game. It's been special. Yeah, they're doing a good job. We're having a lot of fun. Bring them down on the court. Are we going to do that here? Yes. We're bringing them on the court at Greg. First time in 45 years. Yep, we're doing that. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Party at the Tower, 4.30 to 6 on Monday, November 29th. Bring your student IDs. It's going to be a darty. Get your wristband beginning at 3 o'clock that same day. We'll take uh, the first, what, three or 4,000 students we can get in here. If you can't quite get in this year, no problem. There's a lot of area out here. And uh, it'll be like the whole one in, one out. You know, like when you go to Vegas, you go yep. to the club, one in, one out. That kind of deal. We'll do that. Uh, but students, in all seriousness, thank you for your support of the team so far. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I appreciate Brock being out here on Thanksgiving night. We can't wait to see everybody at the party at the Tower and the game here at Gregory on Monday, November 29th. Thank you for watching this week's edition of the Fireside Chat. Hook them.